So it finally happened. Pangu, trusted jailbreak developers, have jailbroken iOS 9.3.3. Now with that said, there are a few caveats. One, this is a tethered jailbreak, which means that if you restart your phone, you'll lose the jailbreak, and that's real annoying. But it's what we got for now. Now, if it does become untethered at some point, this tutorial will probably still work. There is a rumor that it might never become untethered ever again. I don't know. Either way, though, uh, that's one caveat. The other thing is that your device has to be a 64-bit device. For iPhones, that means the 5S or higher, and then basically most of the newer iPads. For a full list of the compatible devices, you can click the link below. Now than that, as with all new jailbreaks, a lot of the tweaks in Cydia, the store where you get jailbreak tweaks from, if you're not familiar, uh, won't probably work right away. They need to be updated. Uh, now by the jailbreak developers. So just keep that in mind when you're messing around with tweaks. Now, without further ado, here's how to jailbreak your iOS device, 64-bit device on iOS 9.3.3. Okay, real quick before we begin, this will only work on Windows at the moment as the program they made is for Windows. There will probably be a Mac version at some point, but for now, there's only Windows. You must also have the latest version of iTunes installed. If you don't, click the link below to download it to your computer. Next, you need to make sure you are on iOS 9.3.3. So you can go to Settings, General, About, and check to see that it says version 9.3.3 there. If it doesn't, you can go to Software Update and Update from there. Next, we need to set up some things on the phone to make the jailbreak work a little smoother. We're gonna go to Settings, iCloud, turn off Find My iPhone. Then we're gonna go to Settings, Touch ID and Passcode, and make sure that your passcode, Touch ID, everything is completely off. After that, we're gonna download the Pangu software by clicking the link below. Then click the red button on their page there, then the green button at the top of the next page and wait for it to save to your computer. While it's downloading, we can plug in our phone via USB, open up iTunes, and click Backup Now. After that, we can close iTunes. Then we're gonna right-click on the Pangu program and hit Run as Administrator. Then click the big green button in the middle, wait for it to download its thing. Then click the new button in the middle. It'll ask you to allow it access, say yes. It should automatically detect your device at this point. If it does, you can just click this giant green button and wait for it to do its thing. If it doesn't automatically detect it, you can click the blue button with the Pengu symbol hiding from behind it in the middle of the five icons to start it manually. After a while, here comes the creepy part. It asks you for an Apple ID and a passcode. So I don't recommend putting yours in. That just creeps me out a little too much. So I actually went ahead and created one for you guys to use until someone messes it up for everybody. If that happens, uh, you can just click the green Chinese writing next to the Apple ID field and it'll teach you how to create your own. I suggest creating your own and using that as like a dummy Apple ID as opposed to using your real one. For my credentials that I created for you for while they work until someone messes them up again, you can click the link below and find that. Once you put in an Apple ID and password, click the green button yet again and let it do its thing. Eventually you will get a very happy computer uh, and another green button, which we'll click. Yet another green button after that to click. And then the phone should automatically open to device management where you can tap that new Apple ID and say that you trust it and trust again. Then we can click the green button again on the desktop and one more time. And then on the phone, tap the new Pangu app that has appeared on the home screen. Say OK for it to send you notifications. And then tap the big circle in the middle. After a couple seconds of that, you're gonna lock your screen by pushing the power button. A notification will pop up, just ignore it. You might also get another one about your storage being full. That's because it's downloading things for Cydia. But eventually, it will just restart itself. When it does, you can slide to unlock it, swipe over, and you'll find Cydia. You can then tap Cydia, wait for it to set itself up, and you're good to go. There you go, guys. Finally, a jailbreak. Ah! Um, hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'm sure a lot of you have been waiting for it for a while. But if you did, please thumbs up it or share it. It is greatly appreciated. Also, 
head to my site where I have a whole plethora repository even of all the jailbreak tweaks that I have found in the past that are awesome that you might want to try to install now that you're jailbroken if you've been waiting. Otherwise, check out my channel. If you guys like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.